The race for San Diego City Council District 5 seat is in full swing. And we have a Republican candidate, Joe Leventhal, here in studio to discuss his run for that District 5 seat. Good morning. Mr. Leventhal, good morning. Good morning. Great to be here. So let's talk, let's start with the the, the makeup sure. of your district. How, how does it break down in the as far as your research shows? In terms of uh, political demographics? Preferences, it, it's, yes. It's uh, almost split evenly in thirds. Republicans, Democrats, and no party preference or independent voters. It's actually a, a bit larger on the ind independent or no party preference voters, but it's pretty evenly split in thirds. And so you really, I mean, you are a former ethics commissioner, a lawyer uh, working at a firm, and you've really decided to sort of bring the Republican message um, to this district. I Absolutely. mean, this is, this is something that you felt a need to do. Well, I, what I felt a need for was strong leadership. And, you know, technically our, our local elections are nonpartisan. And I think that makes sense when you talk about roads and public safety and things like homelessness and things like education and schools. Those should be nonpartisan issues. But I do think there's a, a place for someone who wants to communicate about having our government be more effective, have our government be more responsive to the needs of the voters. And, and that's really the message I'm bringing. I'm also bringing a message of bold leadership and new ideas. In the span of 22 years I've been in San Diego, I've watched the city go from a pretty conservative town to an increasingly more progressive city. Why is that? Well, that, that's a great question. I think uh, all I know is the role that I have to play in, in hopefully elected office. And it's really to make sure people understand, in my view, what the Republican message is. And the Republican message is really about uh, keeping our kids safe at schools, making sure our government is spending our tax dollars wisely. Uh, and, and your viewers saw before the break uh, Kristen Gaspar talking about how so much money now is being is being put into mass transit instead of the roads that we all drive on. I know my, my opponents in this race have those same priorities. They want to put more money into transit instead of the roads that we all drive on. And, you know, that makes sense for some districts. District 5, which includes Rancho Bernardo, Scripps Ranch, North Rancho Penasquitos, those voters unfortunately don't have reasonable transit options and they need to make sure that they have roads they can drive on and they're not stuck in their cars, you know, for multiple hours a day getting to right. and from work. You, you mentioned school safety and I know you're the father of three school age kids and part of your platform this morning you're announcing a Safer Schools initiative. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely and it, and it is a Safer Schools initiative I'm going to announce today. I'll announce it here first uh, and, it, and it really is uh, driven by the fact that I have three children that are in sixth grade, fifth grade and third grade and I've seen this firsthand. And it's really simple and it's an example of my outside the box thinking, which is uh, an initiative to task our community planning groups, which exist throughout the city, to look within a half mile of all the schools, K through 12 schools in the city, and look for ways to improve the safety to and from schools. So it's things like crosswalks, speed limits, stop signs, the school safety patrol programs, and coming up with recommendations after getting input from parents and the community and PTAs, getting that input and making recommendations to the city about what needs to be done to make sure we're, we're as safe as we can be and safe as we should be for our kids walking to and from schools. The, the city council actually has very little oversight in education in the city, but that's, that's a concrete area where the city council does have a role. So when you talk school safety, you're, you're talking just ingress and access. Exactly. But not once you're on school property, that's a whole different kettle. It's a whole, it's a whole different uh, ball, uh, ball of wax, and frankly, the city council doesn't have any play uh, there. Any play there. Uh, it, it really stops with maybe the school uh, uh, safety patrol uh, program, which two of my daughters have, have been in, uh, you know, which is really still outside, outside the walls of the school, uh, making sure people get there safely. You're talking about the Republican message. Have the Republicans done a good job messaging what they stand for in this town? Uh, some absolutely have, and some maybe could have done a better job. So, I mean, it really depends on the issue. And uh, you know, my biggest, my biggest focus, uh, frankly, as a Republican, is to make sure we get back to the basics of government and making sure government services are delivered in a, in a cost-effective way. Whether our tax dollars are coming uh, back to us here in San Diego from Washington, D.C., from Sacramento, from the county, or from the city, they're still our tax dollars. Uh, they're, they're dollars that we are uh, working hard to pay. We're working hard to put food on the tables of our families. Uh, we're, we're working hard to make sure our, our kids have the tools they need to, su to succeed academically. And what's most important is when those tax dollars are spent, wherever they end up going, whether again it's federal government or locally, that those dollars are spent in a way that is effective and efficient and not wasteful. And I think that's really the core message of, of my party.
And being a former ethics commissioner, I would imagine some of that is, you know, having to do with transparency, making sure constituents know where their money is, right. is being put. Right. Uh, what do you plan to bring from your your former title uh, to to the city council, and yeah. where, do, where do you think it's going to be most effective? Well, you know, what I loved about my time on the ethics commission was it was a group of people by, by statute, they have to be Democrats and Republicans that serve on the ethics commission, and we worked well together for a common purpose. And it was a, a purpose of, of transparency for the public to make sure they understand that we're having clean and fair elections, that our lobbyists are fully disclosing uh, the, their, uh, their activities. And, uh, it, and the fact that we have people from different backgrounds that are working together for a common purpose and worked very well together, frankly, is what I hope to bring. Uh, you know, if I, if I am elected, which is absolutely my plan and my expectation, uh, you know, at best I will be uh, one of three Republicans on the city council. There'll be six Democrats. That makes me a super minority. Uh, and that's okay. Just because I might have a party label next to my name uh, doesn't mean that I can't work well with people across the aisle. And so that's my goal is to actually get something done once elected. You know, Mr. Leventhal, some people are going to look at your ethics background and say, ethics and politics. It's just not going to work for you. <laughs> you, you, you. I'm sure that you, you've heard the jaded. I, I have heard that before. You know, uh, it, it will have to work for me. Okay. It will have to work for me, and I think it will work well for the city. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Joe Lemonthal, thank you for your time this morning. Thank you. Again, let's take a look at all of the candidates vying for the District 5 seat. We have Democrat Isaac Wayne, Marty Von Wilpert, who we heard from, and Gary Westenberg. Uh, the three Democratic candidates, and then Joe Leventhal, the lone Republican, in the race again for District Council Seat 5, which is currently held by Mark Kersey, who was termed out.